Okay, let's try x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so again, we want to solve this quadratic equation using completing the square. First step is always move our c term. We need to make space so we can complete the square. Subtract 2 on both sides. x squared minus 4x plus blank. Those blanks are important equals negative 2, put another blank over here so we remember to fill those in. Okay, our pattern, half of b, half of negative 4 is negative 2, square it, 2 squared is 4. If we add 4 over here, we have to add 4 over here to keep it balanced. Okay, now right side, negative 2 plus 4, well that's just positive 2. Left side, we want to write it in factored form. So if we think of how can we factor this? Okay, if you're familiar, if you're good at using the x method, let's use it. Negative 4 on the bottom, so we know 2 and 2 works, but it's got to get to a negative 4, so we know those 2s have to be negative, right? Because 2 negatives equal a positive when we're multiplying, equal negative when we're adding. So if we were to write this in factored form, it's x, since we have 2 negative 2s here, it's negative 2 squared. And then we're back to our old problems. Solve for x. The negative 2 is trapped. Let's untrap it by square rooting both sides. So we have x minus 2 is equal to the square root of 2. We don't know the square root of 2, right? It's a decimal. Um, but remember, let's leave it as a radical, but let's put our plus and minus out front because it's the square root of a positive number. So we know we're going to get two answers. So now if we split it, we have x minus 2 equals positive square root of 2, x minus 2 equals negative square root of 2, and when we finish this, we know we have to add 2 to both sides, so we have 2 plus the square root of 2, and if we add 2 over here, we have x equals 2 minus the square root of 2. Okay, and there's our two answers there.